the amount of money I have spent in your shop and you're willing to throw that away because of 300 but because me I was like I don't need anything anytime soon like dude what is the issue I need to pay for something she's like at you know Dactari squad good morning good afternoon good evening depending on whatever time you're catching up with me how are you <laughs> ah, if you've never seen me before my name is dr linda modoni and if you have and you're part of Dactari squad welcome back so i'm just uh pulling into kfc drive through i need to get sticky wings i've not eaten the whole day for me and my friend QP. I'm going to see QP. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I would like sticky wings. Yeah, so I'm going to see QP at our place. If I'm able to, I would vlog. Yeah. Although, of course, you know, I usually find it very disrespectful to like be vlogging in someone's house, regardless of the fact that she's my friend. So if I'm able to, I will vlog. If not, then I will see you guys at my next meeting. Yeah, so, hello, thank, thank you. you. I haven't seen QP the whole year. Tunongyanga tu kwa simu. Isi masimu by the way kutuaribu. Because you know when you talk to someone on the phone, you feel like you are with them. So anyways. <sighs> yeah, let's do that. Again, everything on my face. Everything pharmacy. Kwanza today, we tried a new lippy combination. Which is Peach Vibes. And this lip liner. What number is this? 219. This is 219. I combined these two to get this. I'm fine, thank you. Thank you so much. That's so sweet. Vlog, your vlog with, um, with oh, you did? So oh. Uh, you said that when you are 20s. Yeah. Just blue and Yeah. Just nice. Aki, thank you so much. I'm even, so happy to see you. I'm thank so you. Happy. Even for coming to tell me that, I'm thank you. Hi, Melanie. I'm saying even for coming to tell me that, thank you. It's really good it's feedback. Really good. It keeps yes, me I motivated. Know, know, know. Yeah. But, uh, thank you. Aki, thank you as well. Sana, I'm yes. so grateful. You're great. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Content yeah. For you. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, thank Melanie. You. I'll make sure I I mention you in the vlog. Sorry? I'm in the middle of a vlog. I'll I make sure I mention you and say hi. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I will mention you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye. Yeah. You too. Ah, that Tari squad in the house. Her name is Melanie. She was just basically giving me feedback on on my content. Amesema, tulisema hakuna pressure. And yes, that is the message I am trying to push heavily. Sorry, a bump? Okay. Yes, we want to be the best we can be. Yes, we want to grow. We want to buy big cars, jets, even helicopters and choppers if possible. Lakini, it does not mean that now we die doing it. It does not mean that we shouldn't be content with where we are as we work towards getting that. Yes, so please, no pressure. She said, um, to Lisema, when you're in your 20s, no pressure. But that message cuts across the board. 20s, 30s, 40s, because now you get to your 30s, kuna pressure ya oh, getting married, having kids. Ukifika 40s, oh, you've not bought a house, you've not bought a big car. Mimi, I do not subscribe to that. Unsubscribe me. I, I usually stand for going with my pace, going with God's timing. I'm not going to rush up until mimu mwenyewe. I feel okay. I'm content and I'm happy and I'm ready to take this step in my life. So, yes, please. No pressure. Anyway, now let's get to QV. <laughs> Samantha, you got a little bag of ring. I need a badilisha. What about this? Eh, 
Okay, so, so I'll introduce and then you guys will come say hi. Okay. okay. Hi, that's our e squad. How are you? So, we are in Meru County. Oh, no, we are in Tarakanidi County, sorry. And we are at the viewpoint. So, I'm sure you guys know that uh, I went to drone school a while back. I want to attempt to exercise those skills today. <laughs> so, I want to try and get a shot of this viewpoint. And I'm with my nephews, by the way. I really want them to say hi because they watch my channel. Come say hi. Hi. <laughs> this is Liam and this is Lovin. These are my little nephews. Love them to death. So, yeah, they're so excited. I'm also really excited. I hope, well, the weather is favorable for flying. So, I don't think we'll have any issues. So without any further ado, let's get this show on the road. We've flown for about maybe like 30 minutes and then my drone has died and I don't mind because I was so nervous like given that this is the first time flying I be, I think I've, I don't think I've even captured anything of importance but I'm proud that at least I've flown I was just scared I don't know I just felt like it would always I mean it it might crash which by the way while it was up there it may shall charge thank god the drone just landed itself so yeah at least you guys have seen the view of um, Nithi, I think you've been able to see the river although I wasn't able to come down low enough because I was scared of the obstacles like the trees the, uh, the electricity cables and all that so yeah I only flew high but that was that was really nice anyway so I'm with my nephews in the car and it's really really hot we want to go back home and get my sister who's now their mom and also my mom and then we go to Meru yeah so ni vibes too we're going to or rather they are going to have kfc and then yeah just the drive vibes and all that so i'll show you guys as we go Okay, so Liam, what's your dream car? Uh, maybe a Tesla. A Tesla, why? Because it's advanced, it's safety, and it can also drive me. It can drive you, like self-drive? Yeah. Nice, okay. And Lavan, what's your dream car? The one that I'm in right now. Hey, yes, high five for me. Yes, why? Why, why CX-5? Because it looks cool. It does? Yes. It's a very cool car. So we'll go get KFC now. Hopefully your mom is ready. Do you think she's ready? Yep. How long? Hi, she's not ready. How long does it take for your mom to get ready? An hour. So I'm in the car with everyone, my whole family. We haven't decided if we're going to KFC 
or Alba, but we're going for lunch. So let's go do that. Let us know in the comments below. And this is my nephew. And this is the other nephew. And this is the other nephew. And the other nephew. And the other one. All boys. All boys. From one human being. Thank you so much. We just had pizza for lunch amongst other things i'm sure i've shown you in the previous clip so i figured instead of just sitting there doing nothing because right now we're just bonding and just chilling and all that let me go and request at the reception if i can get a tour of the bed of the rooms because i'm really curious to see maybe i can even come back i was even thinking the next time i'm coming to meru i do that trip of like nairobi chuka meru nanyuki nyeri and then back to nairobi instead of just coming to meru and then going back directly i think i want to do that round trip and get a tour of the rooms Let's if i can say play mm -hmm. yeah are you ready now yes Okay. I am. Just give us like two minutes. Mm -hmm. Let me get the keys to the room. Okay. Where so, are you seated? I can sit up. Yes, I wait. Mm -hmm. Just sit and then I get ready with the keys. Okay, so thank you. All right. Yeah, so they accepted. So let's wait. Okay, I love the I love the interior of this place. I'm so sorry. The whole time I had food on my face, Polini. 
feel like I've been to this place before, but I can't remember for what, and I can't remember where exactly we went. I don't know if we went up there. Let's wait for her to get ready, and then I'll show you guys the rooms. This is the presidential suite. Oh, okay. Okay. Is there a living room in the bedroom? Ah, okay. How many washrooms does it have? Oh, there's that main one and this one. Ah, uh, okay. I love this. This is really nice. Mm, nice. This is beautiful. I love. Hey, how are you? So this is the normal standard room. Okay. Mm. Okay. This looks so basic compared to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had started here so that I'm, <laughs> I'm not uh, underwhelmed. Oh, nice. Is this uh, like a servant's court or something? Emma, that's not part of the. No. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is nice. This is 13? 13,800. 13,800, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Ah, that's nice. short tour because majority of the rooms are not clean we've seen the lowest and the highest the presidential suit and then there are some there are some in between but we didn't get to see that so yeah anyways i think i'm just going to go back to my family for now and then we'll drive back to nairobi at some point there's nothing more to show you <laughs> let's just say i'll see you guys tomorrow morning when i'm leaving for nairobi all right bye mm -hmm. squad today is on tuesday not to memaliza easter and i'm about to start heading back to nairobi so yeah don't memaliza kunya breakfast it's actually heading to midday but i'm on time i'm not in a rush i want to drive back pole pole so let's catch up in the car i feel so sad having to leave this home <sighs> but oh well nairobi here we come I'm already on my way, but let me tell you guys a quick story so that you guys can tell me if I'm wrong or if I'm valid to feel the way I feel. So I've spent the better part of this morning and even last evening after we got back from Meru, just looking on Instagram, trying to find a page that sells skincare products. These products like um, sunscreens, ordinary, whatever. There's a particular sunscreen, the Bondi sunscreens, um, the Bondi Sans sunscreen that i showed you guys my first 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 uh, skincare routine i've been looking for it because right now i only have the mattifying one for nivea and i want to have the option to interchange like if i want to look dewy i can use that one and if i want to look matte i can use the nivea one so i've been trying to find a page so i already had like a page that i used to buy these products from this lady i actually mentioned her um a few vlogs ago i don't remember which vlog and i was basically plugging her saying that okay you guys can get your products from this and this place because i used to buy my makeup from there but she no longer sells makeup products she now specializes in just sell selling skincare products and i've been buying from her for the longest time blah 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 let me let me tell you what has made me stop buying from her and decide you know what i just need to find a new vendor mind you i've been buying from this lady since 2016 sour imagine all those years since 2016 it's up until sometime this year i was like you know what by day i'm never going to buy from this lady again do you know what happened so on this particular day like maybe to say 20th so salo 
okay I'm, I'm pinching for coins but there's something I wanted to buy from her okay so I order from her I'm like uh, let me have this product my bill came to 2800 so for me I assumed the 2800 is just for the product Kumbe um, it's including delivery and most of you know that if you're in Nairobi delivery is usually like 300 bob so when I sent her the money in come to make you 3100 however in my M-Pesa I had any exact amount to buy that product and buy something else i can't remember what it was but it was an exact amount now by the for real i didn't have any other cash on me i would have to do mobile banking or go to an atm or whatever and i didn't want to do that when she texts me back she's like hey you've paid your bill with an excess of 300 bob i'm like oh actually that makes sense because i'm trying to look at my mpesa and figure out why i'm short to pay for something else and kumbe i had sent excess so kindly because i made that mistake honestly it was negligence on, on my part instead of paying 2800 i sent 3100 30, anyway uh, i text her i'm like just kindly send back the 300 now at this point i'm not thinking it's going to be any issue because i have an ongoing relationship with this lady from 2016 let me tell you there have been time where, times where this lady will tell me i don't have this and this product um it will be coming in in two months and i would wait patiently wait because i want to support her i love for me i'm the type of person once i find someone who gives me a good service me by the way like i will stick beside you anyway so i'm not thinking it's going to be an issue because it's only 300 shillings she tells me at no refunds I'm like, listen, I genuinely need that 300 bob right now. Like there's something I want to pay for and I need that 300 bob. Aside from that, the number of people I have referred to this lady, my sister, my friends, at some point my mom used to buy products from this lady. Anyone when he is affiliated with me knows exactly the person I'm talking about. She's like, you know, the next time you order something, you can always just top it up. I'm like, are you serious? I don't need anything else anytime soon. Just send me the 300 bob because there's something I need to pay for. Imagine Alikata. I was like, wow. Wow. The amount of money I have spent in your shop, not to mention the people I have brought. And you're willing to throw that away because of 300 bob. Because me, I was like, I don't need anything anytime soon. Like, dude, what is the issue? I need to pay for something. She's like, you know, I, I can send you a mask. 300 shillings. Okay. I'm like, you know what? It's fine. I let it go. But in my mind, I was like, I don't think I'll be buying from this lady anymore. Because for me, I'm a stranger. So again, maybe I'm just expecting too much of her. Maybe I'm being entitled the kind of relationships i have with the people i work with i want some level of familiarity and humanity you cannot treat me like nikamati to meet jana or something anyway so now since you guys have seen i was home i was talking to my sister yesterday and i was asking her hey by the way i'm looking for a place to buy this uh sunscreen this bondi bondi suns sunscreen do you know where i can get it and she's like oh so you buy from that lady um that you referred me to i'm like i'm no longer purchasing from her because blah 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 so i go ahead and explain to her the story she's like you know what now that i think about it she also did the same thing to me i'm like what happened and apparently my sister sent uh her money with an excess of like 150 bob or something like that and she was like actually no refunds what do you mean no refunds no one is asking for a refund we're just saying like send back the excess money that i have paid i'm like wow so it's not just me so now i made it a point to ask like people who i have referred her. but and imagine like let's say out of five of my friends three we've had the same experience and i got a note to pesa to do to do like at least 350 bob 100 bob 300 bob i'm not trying to tell anyone how to run their business and I do accept 100% that was my mistake for sending that excess money. But I'm hoping that you noticing that I've made that mistake and being someone that I have supported for this long, because me don't know her, she's not my friend, she's just someone I found online and aside from that, I started referring people to her. Hey, that girl will never see a coin from me. Please do let me know in the comments what you guys think. I would love to know the logic behind her thought process if you have any insight on that please do let me know in the comments let's chat because i simply cannot seem to understand and everyone else i'm trying to ask simply cannot decipher why yani you would rather lose a client or lose whatever relationship you've built with this person over 300 bob 
bed. Anyway, me, I'm heading back to Nairobi. Once I get there, I need to get this nail fixed. I broke it yesterday. You have to get your hands dirty. <laughs> Other than that, that Ferry Squad, actually, this has been one of the most amazing trips to come home. I got to spend time with my family. Thank you so much to all of you for being here, for being part of the channel. We are growing. I think right now we are at like 35k subscribers. So thank you so much for that. I'm truly grateful. Bye. Mwah.